Okay, so this is a quick behind the scenes look at the deal that we're working on purchasing 211 acres if you are following us on this channel. This is basically going to be just the phone call. Been waiting for two to two and a half days for this very phone call. It's the realtor Justin calling me and giving me some news. We've been kind of verbally negotiating on price. But if you've never done this, this will give you an idea of the behind the scenes look on how this stuff happens and how you develop a good rapport with people, with realtors and others to try and make this stuff happen. So let's take a look. Hey, is it all right with you if I turn my GoPro on? Right now? Uh-huh. <laughs> Are you going to talk some business? Yeah, I'm going to talk straight to you if you want it. Ah, well, all right. I, if you say anything, if you cuss at me like you normally do, I could delete it. No, that's fine. What's going yeah. on? So I talked to the sellers today. Uh, we played phone tag last night, so I didn't get a chance to nail them down. But um, I will make the, uh, make the comment here that I probably made a mistake out of the gate because... Uh, the number that they're settling on is really close to where I told you they're asking. So, um, not giving a, I guess everybody adequate room for negotiation. It probably feels like you're getting in the, sh the short end of the stick, but they're the number they've settled on is 680. They're not, uh, they're not coming off of that. Um, I know it seems like, Oh, we started at 699. That's, not very much, but it, it's my own fault. I should have started higher than that, I guess. Then six ninety nine, you mean? Right, right. Just to make you feel better about it. <laughs> but at the end of the day, I mean, they're they're not coming off of six eighty. So, and he made the comment to me. He goes, Justin, you know what? If we don't sell it, that's fine. He said we've talked about putting um, just like a house trailer on it and renting it out for five hundred a month. So. And he said, we're not deer hunters, so we're going to lease the hunt right. So he said, when you take the CRP income at 28.5 and you add 5,000 per hunt lease, that's at 33.5. Mm -hmm. And you add 500 a month for somebody to rent it. He said, that thing's generating almost $40,000 a year income. And he goes, you show me another farm at that price that generates that kind of income and we'll sell it tomorrow. And I said, I mean, you got a valid point. I'm not going to argue against that. Yep. So then if you take the uh, CRP income and you add your $10,000 that you just said, if you buy it at 680, that's about a five point, right at a 5.8% return. And that's pretty strong. So... Um, but that's that's where they are. Um, that's where, like I said, that's I, I probably won't put it on the website. Um, they're not, like I said, they're not that motivated. He just said, if you find somebody looking for an investment farm, we're happy to sell it. And then today we got to the point where it is, here's our price. Okay. And, um, you know, I think they're just, like he said, we talked about it. He said, that's what we were doing last night, Justin. He said, we were trying to figure out when we sell this, what are we going to do with the money? And he goes, you find me on the farm with a four or four and a half percent return in the Midwest and I'll buy it. He goes, yeah. they're not out there right now. Right. He said, that's not saying you can't cherry pick some of these auctions, you know, here and there, and you might get lucky on one. But he said, if we're trying to look at something that's listed right now on the market, and replace it with a 4% return, we can't do it. So we might as well just hang on to it and, you know, yeah, use yeah. the income. So, All right. well, how about this? <clears throat> how about you write it up? Are they going to sign it? At 680? Yes. Yeah. yeah. They'll sign it tomorrow at 680. All right. Well, I just need the contingencies in there. Uh, the bank contingency. It doesn't, does it, does it come, 
Oh, geez, the paycheck you'll get. You I, could afford one for you. A used one? one? <laughs> I, I tell you what, I'll, I'll let you buy it at complete, like, dealer's cost. Like, I'll show you the price sheet at what I buy it for, and I'll let you buy it for that. <laughs> Is that only my first one? I'm going to need, like, five or six of them. <laughs> yes, that's just the first. You just said one. Oh, jeez. Oh. I said one yes. free one. You guys got to learn to ask for more the first time. Oh, yes, my I'll God. give you one at either cost. Okay, yeah. one and a hat, right? Is that, <laughs> is that, I want a there t-shirt. Was, we needed one for 10 acres, so whatever that comes to. Yeah, I'm going to, uh-huh. Jeepers, man, you're killing me. All right, well, write it up. You going to have it over tonight or tomorrow? Uh, Probably tomorrow. Is that okay? Well, as long as they're in and... They're giving your word that they'll they're do not it. Gonna, yeah, they're not going to. They're not going to change your word on me. I'm good. All right. Well, then I'll see you tomorrow or uh, okay, see you email tomorrow, whatever. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. Uh, I, I'd like to maybe run out there tomorrow. You just see a problem with that? No. Go okay. ahead. I'll tell them. All right. Send it over tomorrow. Okay. I'll do it, buddy. All right. Thanks, man. All right. All right. All right bye. bye. Are we? No. You ever have that sinking feeling if you're into real estate? Huge risk again as usual, but this is a gigantic investment. And if you paid attention to some of that conversation, there is a big return built into the property automatically with two, three, or even four other streams of income. So stay tuned. Tomorrow we should be signing an offer to purchase.